Hello, Rising Fun Gaming here. Today let's look at the SP Hunter art system for the upcoming Monster Hunter Double Cross. We're currently on the Monster Hunter Double Cross official website in the SP Hunter art section and we're going to be mixing this up with a little bit of demo footage to make everything a little bit more illustrative. So SP stands for Style Power Up, an effect that can be initiated in battle to grant special abilities and effects to yourself and other hunters, prowlers and palicos that you are hunting alongside. You can tell when SP has been initiated by an animation of light coming out of the hunters and also by the SP initials popping up next to your hunter's name. The effect bestowed upon party members will vary depending on their hunting style as I said and I'll list these benefits later in the video. Firstly though, let's talk about how you get the SP. The way that a player initiates a style power up in a hunt is simply through activating the hunter art or support move if prowler that has the SP equipped to it. Any hunter art is capable of having SP equipped to them, so there's no restrictions in that sense. Still unclear at this point in time is whether all prowler support moves have the potential to have SP equipped to them. I'd imagine some potential restriction aimed at support moves that require zero gauge to use, but we'll have to wait for the full game to find out. Now as you can see over here to the right here in this picture here, um, you can allocate which hunter art you equip the SP power to from your equipment box menu. In this particular picture we're looking at a hunter who is using alchemy style which as you can see like striker can equip three hunter arts but uniquely to them also have the ability to equip the sp to multiple hunter arts up to three which is only possible for this hunting style as all other hunting styles can only equip sp to one hunter art and I think this plays to the support nature that is very inherent in alchemy style a likely reason they have made it this way for Prowlers and Palicos, still yet to find out how many of their support moves can have the potential to have SP equipped, but I would assume that they are treated like other non-alchemy style hunters and just have one, attrib um, one attributed with the SP, but I definitely look forward to confirming when we get our hands on the full game. So now let's talk about the individual effects bestowed upon the hunters using different hunter styles here and we're going to use lots of demo footage to illustrate this. First up, guild style. The usage animations of some items will become faster, for example laying traps, consuming some curative items, laying bombs, throwing some throwable items and stuff like that. I've experimented with a few items in the demo and you can see for yourself their improved speed of use. Without calculating frame data, I'm judging the speed of things like the planting of traps and bombs to be a middle ground between normal speed and that of a hunter using the trap master armor skill. And things like item consumption, I think might be at the speed, again, some sort of middle ground before um, between uh, normal hunter versus speed eating plus two hunter. So that's very, very interesting and cool. If you are a hunter using striker style and you've got SP mode going, um, your hunter art gauge for all equipped hunter arts will slowly regenerate even when not attacking or taking damage. That's really, really cool. So remember that striker in my memory is the only one that gets um, regeneration of their hunter art gauge when, all, when taking damage as well. So you've got this other benefit on top of that. So hunter art gauges are potentially gonna um, go up pretty damn fast. So that's really, really exciting. Next up, we're gonna be talking about aerial style benefits under SP. Now upon performing a vault, your stamina will regenerate immediately. It'll start to regenerate. Ordinarily, you have to wait until you land for it to start recovering. Number four is Adept Style. The window of opportunity for successful Adept actions is extended under SP mode apparently. It's hard to show in video footage and um, it kind of was hard to pick up. So perhaps I need to test it out more and do it more and more to really get that feel, to get that sense. Um, perhaps I'm too used to evading um, at the proper Adept timings, but yeah. As we play around with it more, I'm sure it'll become obvious and the brain will be able to sense it better, but that's what that does. Now for Brave Style, this one's very, very simple. What SP mode is going to do is just make your Brave Gauge feel faster. 
So the bang for buck you get out of um, hitting attacks and the um, gauge charge that comes um, with that, it's going to be slightly enhanced under SP mode. Got some footage of a single strike from a triple charge greatsword in action showing the difference there. So it's going to be really, really good, um, especially for fast hitting, I guess. I guess it's going to be all in um, ratio, isn't it? The, ac the exact um, increased charge you get for any one hit. But yeah, it's really, really good. Love it. For alchemy style, we've got a similar thing happening. SP mode is going to make the alchemy gauge feel faster. Now, I've played a tiny bit with this one in the demo, um, but I don't know a huge amount of it about it, but I will remark that when the hunter is stationary, i.e. not actively attacking enemies, the charge time for their gauge is pretty much the exact same whether you have SP or do not. So actively attacking whilst SP is active is mandatory to really get the benefits here, which is what everyone will be doing anyway, but I thought it was an interesting experiment and observation. You're not going to get any benefit, to my knowledge, from just chilling out in the corner waiting for some sort of awesome fast barrel charges with SP. And yeah, that thing's just going to end in disappointment. The effect of SP to Prowlers, the usage of SMs, usage of support moves, they're going to require less gauge to use. I've got some footage of it here showing that, you know, you've got a support move that has an advertised um, gauge usage number but in actuality when SP is there um, it doesn't quite use all of that and you should be able to see it in the video so that's really really handy and then lastly for prowlers under SP mode uh, it apparently says in the Japanese here support moves become easier to execute uh, no specifics on this and it's, it's difficult to test in the demo so we're going to have to wait to see for absolute certain here. So whether it's um, making it easier for gauge to accumulate, whether your activation animation is sped up, or whether it's exactly like Prowler, you don't use exactly the advertised number of gauge, you use a little bit less. Still not 100 billion percent sure what that is, so I look forward to finding out exactly how that works. Now finally I want to talk about the concept of SP level. So if you are an alchemy user, you've got the ability to increase SP level effects. How you get these increased SP levels, namely SP level 2, 3 and 4, is just through continuously making alchemy items using your barrel. Throughout the hunt, the more that you make, the higher your SP level potential will become. So if you've got your alchemy dude, he's in alchemy, he's initiated SP level 2 you're going to get the effects of you know just the base SP how it affects all of the um, different hunters under hunter styles as it um, explained before additionally on top of that you're going to get stamina drain reduction so you're going to use less stamina this is going to be great for pretty much any hunter especially those using aerial and those with charging weapons that sort of thing once you've gotten to SP level 3, you're going to get the benefits of SP 1 and 2, and additionally you're going to get a health regeneration effect. It's not, it's not that it's speeding up your red health regeneration, it's just a pure health regeneration. So you'll see your, your max HP, if it's under 150, slowly increase, even if it's you know in the maximum amount of green, so that's nice. Finally, SP mode 4 is going to get you the benefits of 1, 2 and 3, plus it's also going to make um, flinching monsters that much easier so these additional levels are really really cool because it keeps you like super aggressive you know less stamina usage HP reduction I mean HP regeneration rather and then flinching monsters all over the place so this is gonna be crazy support and really really interesting had a tiny bit of an experiment this is by no means um, super wholesome holistic whatever you want to call it but had a little experiment to see how long it took to get to SP4, shaking and making those alchemy items. And just as like a very rough sort of bit of data, I produced single shake or single meter items. I did it nine times and it got me to SP level four. I compared that to making max level five shake items and it took me three five shake items to get to SP level four. So it's gonna be interesting to see what sort of strategy people have to get to SP mode four 
the fastest. So that's going to be about it for the video. It's very, very exciting that with um, Monster Hunter Double, Double Cross, you're uh, getting this SP mode and you're getting the, alch the awesome alchemy style. I think um, your strategies for support are even more fleshed out in this game. And it's going to be very, very interesting to see what sort of um, uh, teams are made for, you know, the most efficient hunts. Or even if there's like multiplayer time attacks and stuff like that, like how many people are going to be utilizing uh, alchemy style and the different levels of SP. It's going to be very, very interesting and thrilling to um, see what the community does. But yeah, that's very interesting. Um, interesting. Uh, Thing, the SP system. It's pretty complicated, but once you get your head around it, it's not too bad. Um, I'm always, always interested to know whether there's going to be a little bit more detail to it once we uh, get our hands on the full game and whether some more information comes out for it. So as always, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you found this nice and informative. Um, I'm always interested to have the dialogue down in the comments section. If there's more nuances or any information I missed, please, please, let's discuss it down below and um, Let's uh, learn about this um, cool upcoming game. Uh, so yeah, that's going to do. My name's Rising Fun Gaming as always. Signing off now. Thank you for watching and goodbye for now.